Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. We going to the UK. You like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just making sure now. We're going to the UK now. Hey, man, your favorite Americans are back. My big toes are still black. Now, look now. We hope everybody's blessed, well, and healthy watching today's video. And uh, we got another an amazing video to check out. Uh, and this is 10 things that only exist in the UK. So, Bubbles, only these 10 things exist in the UK. So, hopefully, we don't get jealous now. Let's see if I'm familiar with any of them. I watch a lot of UK content. Yeah. Like, I know Greg's. It's like where they sell, like, pastries. Greg's. Yeah. And it, it, isn't Santander like a... Uh, I see Santander. That's my bank. Yeah. It, that I, I got in New Jersey, but I think it's it's global. Yeah, that bank is global. But, hey, man. If you're new here, join the family. Join the gang. Hit that subscribe button. Mm -hmm. And, hey, man. If y'all want to check out Bubbles' channel, her channel is down below. She's almost at her first thousand subscribers. So go show her some love. Send her some reactions, some requests to check out. She does amazing reactions, lifestyle videos on her channel. She's almost at her first thousand subscribers, y'all. Y'all go show Bubbles some love. But without further ado, let's check out 10 things that only exist in the UK. I love the UK. Mwah. Shout out to my beautiful people, man. I got to get out of the U.S. Somebody please come get me uh, and take me with you. I need a free... Uh, 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 I got my passport. Uh, I'm going to get my passport. I ain't got it yet, but I'm going to get it, though. And What happened? Go on. Yeah, and y'all just come on. Please come get me because it is bad down here. If you go inside the store down here in the U.S. and you buy two bags of chips, you spend about $60 plus the income tax fee and the state tax fee, man. It is bad down here. A, a one-bedroom apartment down here costs five thousand damn dollars uh uh f every month for one bedroom apartment man somebody please come get us because everybody in the office down here is sleep the president keep falling down and going to sleep on the on the set and going to bed please come by to come get us please thank y'all we love y'all it all began. Greg's first shop opened in Gosforth in Newcastle Greg. 68 Greg. years ago. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK and today we'll be looking at 10 things that only exist in the UK. Oh, you smashed oh, the thing! Really? Oh, what the Before hell? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe <laughs> to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at products, shops and more that you can only find in the United Kingdom. Let us know which is your favourite in the comments below. Okay. Party 7. Party there have to be a certain age to remember Party 7, since, in its original form, it disappeared back in the 1980s. Tenor says he did it. I, I, I'm not playing. Tenor and a Party 7. This was party a tin seven. of beer that was the equivalent of seven pints in one big can. Damn. Which would have cost about a tenner in today's money, though it originally cost 15 shillings. Well, what is Party 7? The big thing of big thing of that old good old beer rubber. Oh yeah. It's a good it's stuff. A testament right there, to how much the Brits love booze that such a product oh, booze. existed and remained popular despite its propensity to explode and supposed poor quality. Right, the chosen vintage of the CID. Then in oh, the twenty twenties, Party Seven had a brief renaissance when the beer returned in a keg format in twenty twenty one. Oh. Little Chef. It was a sad time in 2018 when the final Little Chefs closed their doors. Once upon a time, yeah. every long car journey could be livened up by a trip to a Little Chef, which lined motorways up and down the country. Little Chef look good as hell. Go in there and get classic food, like a full English breakfast for a steal. A boon not only to families giving their kids a chance to stretch their legs, but lorry drivers needing a pick-me-up after hours on the road. It struggled for years following its decline oh, in the 2000s and oh, eventually shut all its branches. But for um. decades, it was a British cultural icon. Le Le chef. Chef. I don't know way. what happened. The house of it probably was a better, uh, a better brand of IHOP. <laughs> no, because it's like I think it was like a diner at some point. Diners uh, weren't cool anymore. 
You know, it doesn't have as much business as like a McDonald's. Describing yeah. recommendation. So. Abolishing this place, the House of Lords, the House in of favor Lords. of an elected chamber. One of the most controversial things in British politics, the House of Lords House of, of Lords. 2023 is still there and still affecting our laws. That's despite many attempts to reform it and lots of high profile and powerful politicians even saying they want to abolish it completely. Yeah, I know about I think Yeah, I knew about this already. Lot that needs to be done to change the House of Lords. What the I'm House not of Lords. convinced about is that we need another elected chamber. It's one of the most bizarre parts of life in the UK that we still have this system of hereditary aristocratic titles that mean unelected people, often rich landowners, get to sit there in Parliament and tweak or even outright block laws devised in the House of Commons. What people get very worried about is the size of the House of Lords and the appointment process for the House of Lords. They've got no real public accountability and are one of the strangest things about Britain to explain to foreigners. Cornish pasties. Cornwall Cornish pasties. is a unique part of England with its own distinct culture, flag and even a native language. And it also boasts one of the most iconic British foodstuffs the Cornish pasty. But the humble Cornish pasty is perhaps more important than you realise if you're not from Cornwall yourself, since it previously held protected status under EU law. This meant that only They're pasties good. meeting stringent and requirements do could good, truly call it? themselves Cornish. They've got to follow a strict recipe and be prepared in Cornwall. This was all done to protect the pasty industry, which uses local produce and provides jobs to many in the county. Tabloids. And well, good, of course, most it. countries do There's have tabloids on of their own, <laughs> Snack. but tabloid culture in Britain is a law unto itself. Around the world, the UK is notorious for its relentless, yeah. unethical tabloids. Yeah. Not only do British celebs mm -hmm. find themselves at the mercy of the tabloid presses regularly, but so do celebrities from elsewhere who are deemed worthy enough to get harassed by UK red tops. Mm. For over a hundred years now, cheaply produced papers relying on sensationalist reporting and invading the privacy of the rich and famous have been part and parcel of British life. So mm. much so that it's strange to imagine that the media landscape is very different overseas. Colin the Caterpillar. It's quickly becoming the food fight of the century because the iconic birthday staple Colin the Caterpillar is going to war with lookalike Cuthbert. No child's birthday party is complete without a visit from Colin the Caterpillar. Caterpillar cakes are sold by every. Look at it. I love this. It looks like one of the more. That one looked better than this one. Like a, 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 it looked good too, like a Debbie cake. Yeah, but this one looks better than Shut the one in the box. Shut out, little Debbie. Y'all know little Debbie. Them Debbie cakes go crazy. No, this is not a Debbie cake. <laughs> this is not a Debbie cake. Not nah, Debbie cake, bubble. This is Colin the Caterpillar. Colin the Caterpillar, man. Let me put some respect on him. My bad. My bad, y'all. My bad. Let me put some respect on it, man. But hey, still shout out to my little Debbie cakes, though, man. They go crazy. Pillar is going to war with lookalike Cuthbert. No child's <laughs> birthday party is complete without a visit from Colin the Caterpillar. Caterpillar cakes are sold by every major supermarket, all boasting different names, though the original Colin version was introduced oh, by Emma Harris oh, in the 1990s. Okay. Marks and Spencers are taking Don't mess Aldi with our, our, our man's Colin now. Yeah. yeah. Kate claiming that Cuthbert is not only an imposter, it looks good but riding too. on the coattails. But this one looks better reputation. than Cuthbert. Marks and Spencer's is so protective True, of its Colin, common do look name, better. in fact, that it tried to take Aldi to court for infringing Aldi. on its intellectual property you know the store, Aldi? by releasing a Cuthbert the Caterpillar. Huh? You know, it's the store a bit Aldi. unfair because... What happened? They're suing Aldi. It's a yeah. supermarket store. Yeah, yeah. So they're probably selling it over there. Yeah, y'all, y'all gonna do my, gonna do Colin, gonna do Colin like that. Colin look good as hell too. Yeah, yeah, Colin the Caterpillar. I wonder what it's. Hey, somebody from the UK, y'all know what it tastes like. Please yeah, comment down below it. what it tastes. Describe what it tastes like. Like I say, sometimes I can read the comments, and when y'all describe stuff, I get a feel for it. So mm -hmm. please describe. And also, what, what that purple chocolate foot tastes like too. You wanna know what the chocolate foot tastes like? It, I think it's chocolate. I don't think it, it might not be chocolate. It might be. Just tell me what it tastes like. Y'all describe this cake. Somebody in the comments describe what this cake tastes like. And if they're still selling it. You've got similar caterpillars. I think there's a Clyde in Asda. And there's a, a Wiggle in Sainsbury's. And an Eric. That suit was settled. And caterpillar cakes continue serves to be sold by all supermarkets. It serves 12, a Bubble. Cost -effective way to get a they gotta be a big ass caterpillar. For your kids. <laughs> if Greg's. it serves 12 people. If you Greg's. miss Little Chef. Greg's is one of the retailers Greg's. that expanded to fill the vacuum it left behind. 
This is where it all began. Greg's first shop opened in Gosforth in Newcastle 68 years ago. But not only will you find a Greg's at every service station up and down the country, there's pretty much a Greg's on every single street. Sometimes two or even three branches all competing with each other. Mm. With its cheap, tasty pastries and sandwiches, Greg's has invaded high streets around the country from its headquarters in Newcastle, which has over 30 branches alone. From its roots in the northeast, Greg's expanded steadily. In total, there were over 2,200 branches of Greg's, about 1,000 more branches than McDonald's, but it still only exists in the UK. In the UK. It didn't even have any shops in Northern Ireland until 2016. Today, Greg's has more shops in Britain than either McDonald's or you Starbucks. See, so wow. And it may launch sweet, abroad in the years to come. Ba like Ties bakery. The Genesis and GV80, like, uh, designed, like, engineered. Kind of like uh, empanadas. Have you ever had like the empanadas? Yeah. But it's like, uh, it's the UK version. They they do a lot of uh, combinations in that too. It look good so too. So I want to try it. Yeah, we got to come to the UK and try some Greg's. I look good. Ties there. We're going to Greg's. Though its presence on supermarket shelves has waxed and waned, <laughs> especially in recent years, Look at that Tizer is still sold by British retailers and turns 100 Tizer. in 2024. It's manufactured by Bar, which also makes Iron Brew. But unlike the national drink of Scotland, Tizer has never really appeared in other countries. It remains such a niche drink that you might have thought it had been made defunct and could have gone years hmm. without seeing a bottle. Yes, we have three great new flavours. No, we're not changing colour! Tizer, it's a red Tizer. thing! Bright red and with a top secret recipe, yeah. who knows what they really put in Tizer, which oh. adds to the allure of the Great British Pop, as its slogan calls it. Henry Hoover. Oh, Henry Hoover. British Hoover. is complete without a humble Henry to keep everything <laughs> shipshape. Meet Henry. From Pneumatic International. I like Henry. Henry and his numerous siblings like James and Hetty are certainly the most iconic vacuum cleaner in the UK thanks to his large googly eyes and cute appearance. They're not the best vacuums on the market, but will be damned if they're not reliable. So what is it that makes Henry the industry favourite? Is it the long life engineering and proven reliability? There aren't any bells and whistles on mm. Henry. Though some are designed for slightly different things, in buying him you can be sure you've got a solid appliance that might even last a lifetime, but all without breaking the bank. It's all over the floor as well. Beat up again, please. Mm. Any of this go in your mouth? Mr. Blobby. Mr. Blobby. Maybe the most bizarre <laughs> thing to come out of British light entertainment, and that's saying something. Mr. Blobby has been a household yeah, name yeah. ever since his debut in the late 90s. <laughs> this remind me like the Chuck E. Cheese. His longevity <laughs> defies all logic and reason. Yeah, An Mr. Blobby. character who caused chaos on Noel's house party, Mr. Blobby now routinely reappears on TV and even on the stage. Because Mr. Blobby will be going on holiday soon, he needs to get a photograph yeah. of his passport. Even Blobby needs identification. Every time he does, he wreaks havoc, ruining segments, breaking items, throwing tantrums, what? scaring children. What? Oh, he smashed oh, the thing. Really? Oh, so this, I was wondering what I seen in that in that uh, funny UK uh, funny uh, UK moments video and i was like what is this 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 thing oh it keep throwing tantrums and throwing stuff and just acting crazy now i know what it's called it's called mr blubby damn it's crazy y'all i have a lot of uk videos on this channel man and i kept wondering what that damn thing was mr blubby why do they keep bringing him back when his only role is to smash things and screech like a banshee your guess is as good as ours do you agree with our pigs? Check out this other recent clip from what Mr. Blubby. That was an amazing video. I like that. Shout out to the UK! My favorite part was Greg's. Greg's? He like Greg's. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Bubbles. Yeah, I want to try Greg's with you. We got to go to the U. Y'all know me and Bubbles going to be traveling in the in the f near future, man. So we got we to gotta come to the UK, man. That's on the bucket list. That's actually on the bucket list, man. UK, Japan, I mean, everywhere you name it, man. It's on our bucket list, man. We're going to be traveling, y'all. But we definitely coming probably to the UK first now. For real. Mm -hmm. Somewhere way out the US. Like, we got to get out the US, man. Even if, if it's for just a vacation or a couple of days, we got to get out the US, man. It is bad down here, y'all. But 
thank y'all for checking out today's video um we love y'all we wish them blessings love and health and growth and success to, towards all y'all your kids your loved ones your family members man the strangers the neighbors and that y'all have an amazing rest of y'all week an amazing rest of y'all month and a blessed blessed year man and uh thank y'all for stopping by and be sure to check out bubbles channel down below and um send her some requests if you want to be uh, be her guest and um we love y'all and y'all have an amazing rest of y'all day and we'll catch you on the next one man peace and love y'all